in somebody so that you'll believe i came to challenge you i believe god i believe god apostle i've stayed 10 years without admission and then you will graduate and receive the salary of a 10-year graduate no in god's economy time is under his care he can manipulate it anyhow listen that sense of regret that sense of losing take it out of your life take it out of your life take it far out of your life apostle i would have been in ministry and i would have done this there are still 50 members in my church don't worry don't worry don't worry god is able to lift you listen let me speak to someone here who is struggling to get established can i tell you this reduce the amount of time you are running around trying to look for human connections no man moves until god moves them go to the god that moves men and say lord who is rising oh connect me to that person apostle i need land i've raised one million who told you you must buy it you you see the unbelief i'm trying to kick out now because you too you see you've caught yourself disbelieving what i've said yet you are in a land where unbelievers have they believe please have you not read that this god gives us daily benefits you have received your salary but where is the benefit you received your salary from your boss where is the one that came from god i should see the difference between your salary and the one that came from heaven listen the person talking to you is not a stupid person i'm a leader i'm not foolish i know what i'm saying i'm stretching your faith to believe god to know that this god is not what many people have said he is god is a mighty god listen 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 do you really believe that you will come and stay under this atmosphere and just share the grace and leave i don't know the god you serve but the god that came with me tonight in this meeting will so shift your life in a way that it will surprise you hallelujah praise the lord this is the god that we serve this is the god of heaven allow him to start calling your helpers in lagos and you will be surprised allow him to arise as the mighty god that he is listen when you know him you must also know his power listen god's power is his version of money if i give you 10 naira i've given you a possibility that is 10 naira worth so when you say god i need to buy water he gives you power go and convert it use it to buy water on your way to buying the water you will find somebody who is sick you will pray for him and he will give you one million god will say that's the amount i gave you the power equivalent just to buy water one of the things that must happen to you tonight is you must be drenched in the anointing in a new way like like rain pours on someone so that when you step out of here god will bring ease to your life to take away this hardship so that you can have the time and the focus for the gospel and the things of the kingdom insist that this is the year the word of god will prevail over your life insist that nothing dies within your vicinity insist insist man of god insist that this is the year you will see the move of the spirit in your hand that this is the season that if at all you are invited for any meeting it will be an effulgence of glory in a strange dimension 
insist that this is the year helpers will rise in strange ways insist that nothing you start this year will hang over to next year it must finish within the same year isaac sowed in that year he reaped in that same year not next year listen listen 11 months is too long for god to change your life you have to believe this but the people give us that scripture again i just sense the spirit of prayer there are many other things i'll talk about but i don't know proverbs 24 let's go to proverbs 24 and verse 10 we're going to pray the bible says if you faint in the day of adversity what happened the strength that knowing god supplies when you know god even in the days of adversity you will stand strong and stand tall many people listen many people chicken out of life and fall in the midst of challenges because there are gaps in our knowledge of god job though he slay me yet will i trust him all the days of my appointed time i will wait he didn't say perhaps my change comes until i know it's a guarantee it will come and the bible tells us in chapter 42 and verse 10 that when Job prayed for his friends god restored his fortune give it to us god began to talk to people the lord turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends and the lord gave job twice how many how did that happen next verse let me show you how it happened it says then came there unto him all his brethren where were they before and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before so they were still alive but something took them away from him now an anointing brought them back and the bible says and he did eat bread with them and they bemoaned him and verse 12 they comforted him over this thing and every man also gave him talk to me a piece of money how many men gave him say every now that's a realm where every man blesses you not your relative so every man no wonder his his favor accelerated him so fast every man imagine every man in this place blessing you even if it's 10 10 naira your life will not be the same the bible didn't say every man blessed him once i told you favor is not favor until it is continuous if it happens only once it is breakthrough that's not favor true favor must be repeated again hallelujah Ephesians 6 verse 10 finally my brethren be strong in the Lord prophesy to someone say be strong yes this is not the time to be weak speak to someone again be strong yes i know you have rent issues but be strong be strong be strong i know you're feeling an, a pain in your body be strong i know something has i mean all kinds of tragedies have happened in recent time but be strong be strong be strong in the lord and in the power of his might hold on it's not enough to be strong in the lord you are also strong in his ability the power of his might be strong in the lord and in the power of his might if we can have amplified i think i remember what amplify says draw your strength from him something like that that you should be strong in the lord amplified says that you draw your strength in fact from your union with okay is there something like that yes draw your strength from him that strength which okay be empowered through your union with him that's right draw your strength from him that strength which is boundless might
provides. Your union with him, your knowledge, you can draw strength. It's true that Jesus died, but was it forever? So when you go down, is it forever? It's a, no, 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 no. Yes, I know he died. But while they were discussing his death, he had resurrected. Just like others are talking about what happened yesterday. They don't know you are in a meeting now. Receiving an anointing that will shift you. They are discussing what happened November. Not knowing you are in the presence of God. About to contact an anointing and a grace that will change your life. Rejoice not over me, my enemies. No. That you saw me fall does not mean I will remain on the ground. I want you to believe that you are here working miracles. I worship you. I worship you. You are here turning lives around. I worship you. Waymaker say, Miracle walk, promise me, light in the darkness. Prophesy it with understanding in your spirit. Waymaker, miracle walk, promise me, light in the darkness. Who you are? One more time, wait, 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 I went for the meeting like you commanded. I organized the crusade. But there was something I didn't know about you. I didn't see your power flow. But here at One Press 2019, an anointing, a grace coming upon your life that will shift your ministry. The next time you go for that program, like Peter, you cast your net and you will catch such a harvest. I like you to open your mouth and blast in tongues. Shake off the unbelief. Shake off the unbelief. Shake off the unbelief. Outside, are you praying? Our online community pray. in the name of jesus from glory to glory acts chapter 17 and verse 6 acts chapter 17 and verse 6 we are praying tonight. Kabarota sigataba lakusiata. Acts chapter 17 and verse 6. Look up, please. This was the testimony of men who knew God. This was a, a summary of their exploits. It says, When they found them not, they drew Jason and certain brethren to the rulers of the city, crying, these that have turned the world upside down there are a group of people that turned the world turned their community years ago i saw this scripture and i said i must be part of this list do not underestimate what the power of the holy ghost can do in the life of an individual these are they that have turned the world 
in business that someone is receiving an anointing here and you will do business in a way that will surprise you listen i want you to believe it don't, don't mind that talk of unbelief you hear around you we believe you've been blessed by the sermon for inquiries please call plus two three three two six seven six seven six zero five five plus two three three two six seven six seven six zero five five or send an email to info at godswordforus.com info at godswordforus.com yeah.